The next feature that we have is called Smart Log. And we developed this with, uh, with, with Apple. Um, basically, we went to them and said we would like to put some pre-editing functions into our device. We would like people to be able to do a, a pre-cut edit on set or in the downtime between shooting or on the way home to the studio and not have to have all of those um, pre-edit decisions made by the editor only or by the producer only at the editing station. We can do that now when you've paid for the people to be there and ensure or the event is going on and to ensure that, that you have all the input that you need from the cameraman, from the producer, the director, the client, and this can all be done at any time that you so choose. And remember the Ninja and Samurai battery power while you're playing back and editing the, the unit will give you um, approximately 10 hours of, of editing time before you have to change the batteries. And we have continuous power so you can go pretty much as long as you want. So what is smart? Log. Basically, smart log is the addition of keywords. Our initial implementation is favorite and reject. And we'll be adding more keyword functionality from the editing package that you set up. So for example, if you're in a sports event, then you can put goal one, goal two, and you can tag these on the device either as, you, as you're shooting or in playback mode. I'm in playback mode here. So what I'm going to do is scrub through and have a look at the footage that I want. Make sure it's in focus, etc. And I might just turn on my, my peaking so I know that I'm in focus when I'm tagging my footage. So if I scrub through here I, and I see the footage I want, I can also go frame by frame and check exactly where I would like the in point to be. He's a bit blurry there, there. That's where I want the in point of my shot to be. So if I now hit favorite, that's now told the operating system, this is where I want the favorite clip to start. I can then play that clip or scrub through. I'm gonna play that clip and see when the next set, he, he's pretty much in focus there. I'm gonna see when he starts to go. And I'd say there is where I'd like my favorite to end. So now I hit favorite again. And you can see down here that I have now created a green line, which is my favorite line. And I'm gonna tell the editor that I definitely do not want this section of the footage. If I just come back, pause there. That's the reject I don't want. And you can see a red line has appeared down the bottom here, which are now will be exported into Final Cut We'll also be doing it for Avid systems and Adobe systems in the future. You can see that the red and green just tells us exactly where we are and what we're doing. This can be pumped out to a, an external monitor so you can show people exactly which parts you think are good. They can input into that and you can tag the footage at any time and then bring it into the editing package. So now that I've tagged my footage, how do I get it back into the editing package? So then I come into my uh, folder list and then I export to XML. See the export to XML down here? Hit export to XML. And now I've just exported my XML, which will, which is basically a Final Cut project that when you open, opens all of your favorites, and then you can put them on the timeline and you have your favorite and reject cuts ready to either edit, throw away, and show the editor exactly what you need to want, want to do.